Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Allied General on the Mysterious JG. Very talky intro video, uh, which I'll have to put something in the, dis in the description to give you guys fair warning, but we did get to action, and from now on, I should be able to make my comments about things like Panzer General and the experience of Let's Playing that. I should be able to fit them into the action as we keep moving. We're on turn two. We've got... Um, we did not take to Brook on the first turn, so I already feel like I'm behind. This mission I've replayed a lot more than the rest of Allied General, though, so hopefully um, I won't be too obsessive with uh, every mission this way. I'm not sure what would be more useful here. We could fully wipe these guys out. Like, we don't seem to have any experience from the last... Um... We don't seem to have gained any experience from having shelled them on the first turn but not taken them out. Like, maybe you don't get experience unless you eliminate a unit, in which case it's going to be really difficult for our uh, artillery to get experience because that's not typically what they're going to do. I'm trying to make my core units get experience, even if the auxiliary units would be more effective in some cases. Here, these, these, this anti-tank unit is definitely done for, because even if we didn't get the kill, they would have been forced to retreat in such a way that they would have been wiped out. That's annoying. We shouldn't have taken a loss there, but it's it's all right. I'm trying to. I'm I'm really overthinking getting the kills with my. Um... See, these guys don't even have the movement speed to actually. This is rough, and this is rough. It's going to take them a while to move through any of this. But I want to be in a position where I'm already threatening them down there. Ideally, they don't finish this unit or even make them retreat. They just leave them in position to get finished off by my core unit next turn. And then they can actually get some experience. Alright. We have taken... To Brook from the Italians. Mamma Mia. Did I turn? I think I turned off um, Mamma Mia. I need to not be saying things like Mamma Mia. Uh, combat animation is on. It was... Um, I believe I turned off show enemy movement. Okay. Now I'm just curious, what will we be able to see here? Like if they... Well, the Italians don't attack that much. Against the Germans will. So my, my thing was, am I going to just have to check unit strength at the beginning of each turn to see whether my units were in combat on the enemy turn or not? We'll find out here in a second. They are attacking. They actually did more damage than they took there, so... Hooray for you, Italian uh, infantry. You still have zero experience. I do not understand how that can be the case. Can I use you guys to scout ahead a bit? Try to figure out where the enemy went. We'll get you guys elite reinforcements. That's, that is far more expensive than regular reinforcements, but... Raywolf at Cheshire.ru. Thank you for... I don't know why that's appearing. How do we even see how many... Um, I have 170 prestige. So getting them elite replacements... It seems silly early, but it's the only way to keep their... 120. That costs us 50 prestige. And it's less than one uh, full thing of... Reinforcement power, but... um. Here we go. Early access to beating up on their artillery back here. The problem is, 
That Italian tank is actually pretty rugged. Uh, I don't know what we can do if we're allowed to get uh, info on the unit. It's got um, eight hard attack and eight ground defense and seven initiative. So uh, it's on a par with us. It's actually got a little bit better uh, ground defense. And it's going to take a million years for the Matilda to get here. But the Matilda is what's probably going to actually have to take that thing down. This is a bit of a cheese, but you can kind of move forward and then see if you didn't encounter anything, you can take your turn back and go one further forward. Because I always, because I'm not going around using, uh, I'm not cheating and um, using uh, hidden units off, I don't actually know for sure exactly where the Italian infantry ended up. Because wasn't there a unit that fought us and wasn't wiped out? I feel like we lost an Italian infantry. But now we got a pretty good view of the, this space. Unless there's Italian units hiding here, there's no naval units in this particular scenario. So we kind of know exactly where they are. And uh, the threat to us is going to be this unit right here. Now, they can build new units, and they'll probably build a new unit right here on this tech, on this hex. Although I, with a British unit there, I don't know if they can. We got our tanks up to the south of Benghazi very quickly. It's just a matter of whether between their artillery and the uh, Italian tank are we going to be made to pay for it. I had almost a perfect run in Panzer General of not u losing units, but I got to go. All right, folks, I'm back. I uh, got interrupted. I don't expect that to happen again. But uh, between, um, according to the first six or so minutes of this video and uh, where I picked up from, uh, I've got the screen where I can see it better. Also, I wasn't ready to record... Well, I'll, I'll, I'll make a little confession here in a second, but let's end our turn. Really end the turn now. So the Axis takes their turn. They are going to have infantry attack my tank. That doesn't really seem that wise, but I guess they have to do something. And ooh, they got in some good hits, though. But yeah, off screen, I saved my game and... Um, I got pulled away, like I said, and uh, just just for the heck of it, I did the next turn. Yeah, like, uh, I got really unlucky with uh, getting attacked off screen, so. Just like, yeah, it's going to take so freaking long to get this Matilda across. I shouldn't have pulled that tank back, but I did. Oh, no, I remember what went terribly. This. Yeah, attackers lose five. Defenders only lose two. So, uh... I don't actually really want to attack these guys, because I'm going to lose if I do. But we are moving into position to besiege the city. Yeah, these uh, Italian tanks are, because uh, they've got, they don't have experience either, but they're just, uh, they actually seem kind of decent. So this is where, I'll just go ahead and get equipment for them. Well, these guys are just in a flat-out truck. They don't have fancy half-track. But uh, there's no one else for me to go to. Yeah, so this is kind of a, a non-event turn. But I need to get the Matilda up here to actually do battle with this tank. And hope that... Again, this first scenario is so simple, but, like... You really don't have that much time to get a major victory. Oh, it's... Oh. Well, at least I did some real damage to them. I'm 
Going to lose more than I gain attacking the infantry? What about you? No. The Italians got to go first, which basically completely crippled the attack, and I didn't get anywhere near as good a result as I was told to expect. Because, yeah, like... It really doesn't take that much going... Like, you don't have to have that much bad RNG before uh, things go pretty poorly for you in this game. So we're going to go ahead and shoot the tanks. I want to get some experience for these weak little tanks here. They can't be finished off with the Italians no matter what happens. And I don't actually want to attack with these guys because they have defending artillery. My, uh, oddly enough, my, uh, transport is pretty strong against artillery, it seems, because it's a hard target. That doesn't necessarily mean... Let's see if we can finish off these tanks. This is a very silly move, but I'm trying to... I'm, tr I'm trusting that they're being accurate with their predictions. And I'm just trying to keep things moving as rapidly as possible. possible situation we've created here is that the I won't be able to take the city on the last turn and therefore get the best possible uh, prestige outcome because uh, they don't really have any place to retreat to and I'll gain more prestige from taking like the end turn if you can take a city on the end turn rather than wipe out the last unit you'll get a better prestige result so yeah I'm Surprised they're doing so much damage to the tank, but overall it wasn't a good move for them. I think we can try to get some. Oh, there we go. That should count. Kilroy was here. That should count as some experience, but they still have no experience. I'm not sure that I get it. Try to use core units from here on out. And uh, we definitely want to reach a point where I can throw down a save and see if we can spend a couple of turns. Because, uh, you know, there's a guide. I don't have it open in front of me. Of how many... Uh, I'm sure we'll get a. We'll probably get a. Uh, major victory if we win here. Oh, you know what I need to do, actually? If I put artillery in there, that means they can't just retake the city. What 
What am I doing? I need to... It's possible... Yeah, hold on. I need to... <sighs> being silly here. Because uh, what I have to do is take it on this turn to make sure I still have a major victory before I start messing around with that. So let's, uh, let's take it on this turn to make sure we still got the major victory. Even though I got a great result in this combat that we lost, we won't get it as good this time. Actually, yeah, I really messed this up. I shouldn't have, uh... Because I can't actually win now. Yeah, I, I kind of messed that up with my playing around with my save states. I want to get a save where we can uh, try to overstrength units, take as long as we can before we need the major victory. That being said, nobody has one star of... Uh... These guys got close. Oh, never mind. We just win. Oh. Oh yeah, we went. Now, even though I, I guess I will let me take the city, but hold on a second. No, so this okay. So this is a this is a, a theme. Is uh trying to milk your final turn. Because, like, if we get one more battle with these guys, we might be able to overstrength them up to 11. But now that I look at it, there's really not much point in us uh, trying to milk the last turn in this scenario. Because, uh... Like, if I had a bunch of units with one or two medals worth of experience, I could try to spend the last... Turns. This is a mechanic. I, I'm assuming everyone knows it from Panzer General, but I played that game like 10 years ago. If your unit is at 10 strength and you, ha and you hit elite replacements, you can use a turn to bring them up to 11 instead of 10. But only if they have an experience level of 1. So they, they can get up to 5 experience levels, which means if you have a unit uh, and you want to spend 5 turns giving it elite replacements, you can get it up to 15 strength. And like 15 strength uh, units are incredibly powerful later in the game, but um, you have to win really fast and take a lot of time and energy to set that up um, if you are, uh, you know, for your core units. It tends to be a thing where like late game, the enemy, and maybe some of your, your own auxiliary uh, units might be like 12 uh, strength instead of 10 at the beginning of a combat. But it's not that common for you to be able to get your units up to 15. I had some 15 strength units by the end of Panzer General, but it doesn't happen much. So, like, I'd like to get more experience for these guys. I don't understand how their experience can still be zero. They finally got, like, a fraction of one star of experience. So now I could save. Yes, I know it already exists. I guess there's a save thing here, too. Uh, who do I want to get experience for? These guys are close to being, uh, they can't get over there. Let's see if you can force them to surrender or something silly. Or maybe they'll get experience for getting shot up. They probably did actually get some experience for that. Alright, let's just take the city on this turn. There's no place. Yeah, I don't have any units with enough 
experience for me to overstrength them. So like spending the extra turns at the end, like like if you if you win with six turns remaining and you can have up to four turns remaining and still get a major victory, you want to hang around with the map conquered and spend the last couple of turns overstrengthening units, but there was nothing that I could do there particularly, so I didn't. Would you like to review the battlefield? Not really. Sir, High Command extends its congratulations. The Italian Commander Supremo expected a swift resolution in this theater, though not this particular outcome. This decisive victory over a sizable Axis force bodes well for the future. Mm -hmm. They say we must remain vigilant, however. Reports indicate that Jerry is about. In the past weeks, he has established a considerable presence in the west near Elagela, and will no doubt launch an offensive in the near future. I suspect that the German general will not be so feckless as his Italian predecessor. Now, annoyingly, I meant for this to be the beginning of the next video, so we're going to call it a video here. But that was our, uh, I should have gone to review Battlefield and saved from there, I suppose. But yeah, this video will be just a tiny bit on the short side, but that's going to be it for this video. When we come back next time, we will be going to Elagela, which is the second scenario of the British campaign. But actually, I know what we can do to round out this video. I won't bother to do this every single time, but it's easy enough to do here. Let's load. What would happen if we... Uh, end the, because they won't attack us if we surround them. Let's just uh, end our turn. And let time run out and fail to take... Uh, is that Benghazi? I think it's Benghazi. Two turns remaining. If we take it on the last turn, that should be a minor victory. I believe. So what would happen if we only got a minor victory? get different music different picture but it's still a victory right i only got one minor victory in the entire run of panzer general but i was still considered the worst panzer general player of all time by a lot of people in the comment section so there's what happens if we get a minor victory here no we don't want to review sir the work was against the collar but High Command acknowledges that we have made an auspicious start. Against the caller. They say we must remain vigilant, however. Reports indicate that Jerry is about. In the past weeks, he has established a considerable presence in the West near El Aguila, and will no doubt launch an offensive in the near future. Not to worry, though. German armor should be no match for British steel. So some of the, di some of the wording is the same. Some of it's different. It's not a completely new uh, thing. But uh, I didn't bother to see what our prestige was from a major victory. We will get a lower prestige reward from a minor victory. So what I'm going to do uh, as this Let's Play goes on is break out the uh, like a guide that shows what the campaign path is. What mission do you get for getting major and minor at different points? Alagela always follows City Barani. Um, but whether you get a major in City Barani, a minor, or a loss will affect what happens next. But when I say... You always get a uh, Elagela always follows City Brani. That's not actually quite true. Uh, what would happen if we again? We'll surround them so that they can't like break out or do anything. But what if we actually let time expire all the way? In what? I mean, they, there is. You could start as the Americans, like halfway through. The British campaign begins in North Africa and goes all the way through to the end of the war. The American campaign technically has two missions in North Africa, but really it's the second half of the British campaign is the entire American campaign. And then the Russian campaign goes through the entire length of the war, but uh, is much harder. So this, this campaign right here, Elagela, where we start at City Barani and we move to Tobruk and uh, Benghazi, this is uh, the tutorial, the easiest mission of the game. This tutorial, you're not meant to lose this one. So let's see what happens if you do.
It'd be like losing the Poland scenario in Panzer General. Or I believe you do get to go on to Moscow. Or no, not Moscow. I mean, no, I think if you lose a, if you lose in Poland, you just it's just game over in Panzer General. Well, let's see what happens if you lose the Battle of City Brani. This would mean that you're the, the British commander and you can't defeat the Italians before the Germans even get there to become part of the war. You just can't beat the Italians. I love the Axis victory screen because you've got this ominous music and this red background, but you also just have like smiling girl with pigtails and it's part of the ominous evil that would be an Axis victory. It's been a while since I've heard that music play all the way through. For a while, like on my old Windows 98 uh, PC, I had, uh, I, I went in and customized the system sounds and like, if there was a major error, <laughs> it played the Axis victory uh, music. So. With respect, sir, this letter has just arrived from high command. In your ineptitude, you have managed to suffer a defeat at the hands of an impoverished, ill-equipped, and uninspired adversary. Circumstances demand the withdrawal of your remaining forces to assist in the struggles in Greece. The defense of the Middle East will be consigned to your subordinate. You are to assume command of the ammunition depot in the Hebrides, Scotland. Let me take this opportunity to state that it has been a pleasure serving under you, sir. The best of British luck to you. <laughs> uh, no, we don't want to watch the scenario. Uh, yeah, but there you go. The uh, I I could have swore they said the Outer Hebrides, but they just say the Hebrides. But yeah, the Hebrides Island in Scotland are the extreme north of the UK. They are bitterly cold. It would be the British version of sending someone off to man the ammo dump in like uh, oh, I'm drawing a blank on the Russian example I was going to use. <laughs> Oh, God, there's like a, the stereotypical, like, not Siberia, but like a specific, like Moldova or something. There's like, yeah, the worst possible place you could be sent off to, like, I think Zhukov got sent there uh, after the war because he would have been a threat to Stalin politically. So he was, they didn't want to kill him. So he sent him off to, like, the most backwater of backwaters in the Soviet Union. And the Hebrides would be about as backwater as a military posting could get within the UK itself. Um I mean, it's obviously on the main island of Britain and not somewhere in the distant, distant part of the empire and the colonies, but the colonies would probably be more important to have a competent commander than an island in northern Scotland would. All right, so uh, we actually ended up going long rather than short, but I'm going to call it a video here. And when we come back next time, we'll be on the second scenario of the British campaign.